Hello, Casual Dresser here, bringing you another video. Now, the last video you will have seen that I was in London, um, and I visited some shops, and I showed you some of the the sample pieces that I picked up along the way. Well, um, being in Hull, and um, being obviously away from many other big cities and towns, it's basically the end of the road, Hull. Um, it's very hard to pick up any pieces that are nearby. So when I was in London, I received a message from a lad in Leicester saying that he wanted to sell some of his collection. Now, these are the nicest buyouts because it's all in one piece. Uh, and instead of picking up multiple little bits from people, we can just bulk buy. So first thing is, if you've got a collection that you want to sell, uh, get in contact with me. Um, but yeah, this video is going to be uh, about me going to Leicester. I won't show the actual transaction, um, but I'm heading up there now. It should be there within about an hour. Um, and I wouldn't advise going to buy bulk buys um, in cash in person, only because, I mean, you never know what's going to happen if someone's going to rob you for your money, etc., uh, etc. Et so yeah, I don't really advise them, but I'm going up there, Leicester, about an hour away. I'm gonna pick these items up and hopefully uh, the next time you see me will be a little bit of a um, piece to camera from car saying I've got them. And then after that, I'll show you all the pieces uh, from my house. So um, let's see if we got them. Okay, so you can see in the back and down here, lots of jackets and lots of jackets that you've probably not seen for a long time. Um, they're not run of the mill jackets really. So, yeah, I'll see you on the other side, and let's have a look at what I got. Okay, so I'm back from a trip uh, to London slash Leicester. Um, my last video was on that haul from uh, London. It's all brand new, all tagged, loads of sample pieces, and it's all over from Instagram, and it's all up for sale. Um, so head across there, see if you like anything, and we can sort a deal out. Um, this video is completely different. This video is 16 jackets um, that are basically the bee's knees. You won't have seen a lot of these jackets in a long time. Now, a lot of these will be going into my collection. Some will be going up for sale. So what I'll probably do is, if you head across from Instagram, if you've seen something on this video that you really like, if you send me an offer on it, if I can agree a price with you uh, and I'm willing to let it go, then it's yours. Uh, otherwise, it's just going in my vault because these pieces are most of them are exactly the sort of pieces that I do want in a collection. Um, you'll see here that my son picked out his best four. So the 16 jackets, he picked his best four out uh, on the grounds of they weren't too dark or they had something fancy about them. So he went for the uh, tortoise hand-painted camo, the Razzo jacket. He went for the, so like a bl bright blue knit um, special process piece. He went for the heat reactive marina jacket. So we got the uh, hairdryer out on that and changed the color to, from blue to pink. And he also went for a silver shadow jacket. Um, good choices, let me know below if you'd have picked, or let me know below what your favorite piece out of these 16 is. Like I say, I'll put measurements in there. I'll put art numbers in there. Um, if you fancy anything, just head across to my page. And if it is up for sale, then we can work something. Let's get into it. Okay, I'll start each piece by telling exactly what it is and the measurements before I forget them. So this is a 2006 hand-painted sample camo jacket. Uh, it's a medium, it's 20 and a half inch pit to pit, and it's an autumn winter, but let's have a look at it. So. Nearly all these camo jackets, especially from this era, are half painted. So they come to the belt line and underneath is normally non-painted. This is a fully painted camo jacket. So you can see here, everything about it is painted. So the buttons, they've been painted over. The whole jacket is painted from top to bottom. Um, it's an autumn winter because it has a liner, but it's only a half liner. So it's Dutch roped in, but it only goes halfway down and it can be removed. So if you removed it, it'd be fine for spring, uh, this jacket would. Um, it's a shoulder patch piece and it's been 
or it's had so little use that when I moved this, it cracked the paint a little bit because it was just cemented in by the paint over the top. Um, so it's basically like new. The only problem you've got is, especially with the age, is the razzo inside it. You can see at the bottom, the razzo is starting to come away. Now that would just come away in big chunks. So that's an easy peel for someone. And then you've got an absolutely mint jacket. Now, I am taking offers on this. Let me go into the pocket. You can tell, so here is the camo badge that will go inside it, but it is brand new, never been used, never been stuck down. And you can tell why we think as collectors that this is a one of one sample piece. Um, yeah, it's an extraordinary jacket. Uh, people have already messaged me because I did show it on Instagram. It is now officially gonna be there for bids. So if you fancy it, head across to my Instagram, put a bid in. You'll be the only person who has one um, and I just thought this was a perfect way to start this video. Let's have a look at the other 15. Okay, next piece and slightly less uh, out there. It's a 2012 hydrophobic jacket. Um, it's an autumn winter, it's a large and the pit to pit, let me check for you, is 21 and a half inches. Large, 21 and a half inches. Um, I just love this jacket. I think it's so simple. Um, Hydrophobic, it's supposed to repel some of the water. It's got two different materials. The top material is a hydrophobic and the bottom material is a cotton. It's got a lined hood um, that, does it remove? Let's have a look. It does, it removes internally this gray part of the hood by a zip. And then it's got your zip up and then it's got three middle buttons that can button up there. It is a really, really smart jacket. You don't see many of them before. A lot of these jackets as well, when they came out, um, yeah, people bought them, but they weren't like all the rage. People didn't need them. Um, but now you see less and less. And what was nice about this collection when I went to speak to him was that he was an avid collector and I'm an avid collector. And although I resell, um, it doesn't mean that I don't love the brand. And I've been listening to this on Night Trainer, uh, reselling podcasts and just because you resell something doesn't mean you love it some people just buy and flip and they've got absolutely no idea what they're doing um, but some people have, are avid like me avid collectors um, and I just love to have these pieces go through my hands so it's a simple piece but it's a beautiful piece 21 and a half inch pit to pit and it's a large I'm trying to keep all these numbers in my head um, you've seen this jacket before it's a Tyvek it's a four pocket it's 2009 it's a medium and it's 20 and a half, I think. I just want to check that. 20 and a half medium Tyvek. Now, the Tyvek came in a two pocket and a four pocket. This is the four pocket, which is a lot rarer and it is an immaculate condition. So what you normally find with the Tyveks, let me show you, because some of you may not have seen it before. Um, you've got an under sort of layer and then on top, you've got a really, really, let's see if my HD camera can pick this up. You've got a really fine mesh. And these fine meshes are normally pulled all over. You have to really look after them. Um, and this is mint. So it's got a hood uh, that zips in and zips out. Um, four pocket. And the silver colour, it's not the rarest. The rarest is probably the lime, which I've sold a couple off before. Um, you've got a bark colour, which is the browner colour. You've got a black colour. You've got a white colour. And you've got this silver colour. This silver colour is absolutely banging uh, and it's a special process piece because they didn't know how it was going to turn out they've used different sort of techniques on the fabric and the mesh will have been one of them but yeah it's a banger um i thought my son would have picked this out to be honest to wear but he didn't um you know where it is you know what to do let's look at the next one now this is a bit of an anomaly this wasn't in the collection um, but i just want to show it at this point now here's a picture of it uh it's the scarabeo um, stealth jacket. It is a massive jacket. It is from 2018 autumn winter. It's a 3XL and it's 25 and a half, 26 pit to pit. It's made for the bigger lad, but it is an absolutely outstanding, I say a work of art, this jacket. So you've got what is a very, very robust outer jacket. Um, make sure that microphone doesn't get caught. Yeah, you've got what is a very, 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 um, just bomb proof outer jacket and it's a shadow piece and as I've said before these shadow pieces this is the last ever year they're gonna make them so if you can grab some shadow 
you are loving it because they're not going to bring them out again. Um, the inner hood is lined and that comes off with Velcro. You've got front pockets, two front pockets here, two front pockets here, nothing in the rear, but it's a bit of a fishtail one. Um, and then where the magic happens is you've got these inner bits that reflect. Now, it used to be, let me show you, look, you see? And you'll have seen the picture anyway, and the badge can sit inside. Um, it used to be that, let's see if I can pull this apart a bit. You can see there, what an absolutely beautiful piece of kit this is. Now, it used to be people said that the only way you could tell a fake from a real one was the Zeds um, on the reflecting material. I'll try and show you a picture of the Zeds here. Not the case anymore. They've managed to fake it with the Zeds, so you have to have a certain logo with this. If it doesn't have a certain logo, they said they've cut it, then just stay well clear, because they're far too expensive to be risking it, whether it's real or fake. I had at one point the Scarabeo uh, smock, but this is a different breed to that, really. This is a majestic jacket. It is for winter. You couldn't wear it in the spring, summer. Um, it's going to sit on my rail until next winter. I might give it a little go or I might sell it then. It's not from the collection I've picked up, but I had to show you it because it's just an outstanding jacket. Okay, 2013 Shadow Jacket. Uh, it's a large with a pit to pit of... 20 inches this shows that you can't just go by stone island sizes you've got to look at the pit to pit so this is the gamato r stone island this is perhaps out of all of them and that doesn't mean the rest of the collection is not special because it is this is one of my favorite pieces so this is brand new with tags there you can see the original shop tags why do i like it so much well it's simple the material's lovely so it is shower proof it's not waterproof but it is shower proof. It's got different sort of textures. So it's got this sort of Gamato exterior, and then it's got these little cotton patches. The red with the shadow badge on the arm, I think looks absolutely fantastic. You're never gonna find these again. Like, A, shadow's not gonna be produced anymore, but B, these jackets are not gonna be produced anymore. They're absolutely beautiful. And I would say, if you are this size, I'm guessing this fits maybe for about a medium. Um, if you are a medium wearer, I would get on this jacket because it is absolutely beautiful if you can find one somewhere. So yeah, it's the Shadow Gamato R and it's from, I might have mentioned it already, but it's from 2013 and it's a summer season piece because this is nice and lightweight. One of my favourites, let's carry on. Okay, same season, 2013, this is a ghost piece. Um, it's a large at 22 and a half, so it fits true to size. I've had a few in these before. Um, I've had the khaki one, and this is the dark, dark navy one. So it's hooded, but the hood zips in uh, to the collar. It's weatherproof, so what it's got down the middle is it's got your zip, but then it's also got a piece of rubber over the top of it. I just love ghost pieces. I mean, again, write in the comments if you agree, but I think the ghost pieces and the shadow pieces are far superior to uh, the normal badge pieces. I mean, I don't think it justifies Stone Island putting them up for ridiculous prices in the store because the ghost pieces in store are crazy, the prices. But I do think they're nicer pieces. But again, you might disagree. Bang a comment below. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful piece. It's a summer season, again, although it doesn't look like it, but it is. It's a summer season. And you can see here the inner plate. And everything tries to stay dark navy. That's the whole idea of a ghost piece. Every single part of it is the same colour. Um, banging jacket. I really like this one. Let's look at the next one. Again, one of my favourites. I wore this out the other night. It's a 2017 summer season nylon R. Um, it's an XL with a pit to pit of 23. However, I'm close to XXL. My pit to pit, I'll put it on for you. My pit to pit is normally far bigger than 23. It's normally about... 24, 24 and a half, but this fits well. So I wore it out the other night to uh, Atom Bar in Hull. If you, if you live in Hull and you haven't been to Atom Bar for food and drink, God almighty, you're missing out, go. Um, again, shadow piece, really, really simple. Dark navy, I think it's absolutely banging. The zip is a contrast. The zip is like a gold and silver zip down the middle. 
Um, really smart for summer. Then again, I'm biased with the shadow stuff. But it is a beautiful fitting jacket and it fits me. So actually, it is an XL, but it would probably fit. Well, no, I think if you're an XL wearer, this is probably going to be perfect for you. So this is the 2017 Nylon R Summer Season Shadow Jacket. Now, I forgot to mention that last Nylon R, inside it are straps. You can take the straps off and put them in the pocket, which I did, and that's why I forgot to mention this. But it does actually go into a bag. So if you're out on a, on a I don't know, pub trip and it gets too warm and you don't know where to put your bag, you can literally just put it into the pocket and hang it over your shoulder, which is pretty fancy and pretty cool. Um, this one, I've written the details down about this. So this is the Stone Island Ghost Reversible President Knit. It's an autumn winter 2013. It's a large and it's 22 inch pit to pit. Um, these lads go crazy for, not only because it's built really well, because it is. If, it, if this was a car, it would be probably a Volvo or a Range Rover Sport or maybe a tank. Um, so it's a ghost piece again. It's a president knit piece. So the whole thing is knitted. Um, so it's got your Razzo around here or your Gamato around here, sorry. Um, everything else is knitted. But the nice thing about this is, if you undo it, the inner is Dutch roped in. And if you pull it all through, which I will do for you, you've then got a completely different jacket, completely looking or different looking jacket. And again, you've got double sided, so your badge, you can put your badge on this side. It's an absolutely fantastic piece, and you don't find many that A, have the tags, which this does, and B, um, in such good condition. Because it's a, a knitted piece, there's normally massive flaws in it. This is absolutely mint. So it's a ghost piece. It's from 2013. It's autumn, winter, so you wouldn't be wearing this now. It's too, too, too warm to wear this. But for next Christmas, it would be an absolute... Well, you'd look a bit like Santa, wouldn't you, wearing it? Top jacket. I tell you what, there's so many jackets here to look through that I'm having to now go for a walk to find the next one to pick it up. Um, this is, as it says on the tag, it's one of the stars of the show, really. It's the Razagamata faded hand-coloured jacket. Um, it is a large at 21 and a half slash 22 pit to pit. Autumn winter from 2013. This is built to last. So you've got your outer. People love these. I know that because people have sent me messages about it already when I showed a little preview. So you've got your outer, which has been hand faded and painted down the side. And then inside, you've almost got like another inner. And this other inner can be zipped in and zipped out. Is it a full inner? Yeah, it's a full inner. So you've got a full like soft shell inner with inner jacket, which is absolutely uh, mental. And as part of that inner, you've got a hood. So it all zips out together, really. Um, yeah, a very, very special jacket. And I know it's special. Well, I know jackets are special when the Asian market message me. So when I get messages from uh, overseas, far overseas, and there are some fantastic collectors out there, it's probably one thing to mention at the moment, that the English um, and the European market is strong, but the Asian market is really, really strong at the moment. And if they want a jacket, they will come and buy the jacket. It is that simple. So please do not worry or think that there could possibly be a scam if you receive a message from far overseas because their collections are insane and the money they've got to part with to get jackets, we can't, afford, we can't really keep up in Europe because of our ridiculous bills and low wages, I suppose. So um, yeah, this is an absolute belter. Okay, this jacket. Simple, yet effective. Let me check this is recording. I'll just pretend that's a zoom in and out. Um, yeah, this is a Trilon um, R shadow jacket from 2009. It's a summer season, it's really lightweight. It's a large at 21 inch pit to pit. This is one of the jackets that my lad picked out from the crowd. Um, why? Probably because it shimmers. It's a shimmer silver jacket. Um, and if you pop this open, and zip this down, you can see a lot of them have these. So they are 
hidden pockets within the jacket. So you've got a hidden pocket there. You've got a hidden pocket there. That covers over with a zip, so you'll never be seen. There's no hood to this. You know me and my hoods, I need a hood. Um, this hasn't got a hood. Um, but it's like a, a really nice, like Harrington sort of style shaped jacket. Um, yeah, silver. And the reason why it's probably quite nice is because the black badge really, really, really stands out on this silver piece. Um, and you probably won't see many of these again. It's very similar to the reflective sort of um, pieces that are out there. However, this isn't reflective. This is just a shimmer jacket, but a beautiful jacket, perfect for the summer. Um, and if this is your size, this is pub material, 100%. One of my favorites again, Razo R Shadow. It's an XL, it's 22 inch pit to pit. Probably comes about 22 and a half, actually. Uh, and the season, just to make sure we've got this right, is 2012 autumn winter. This is again, one of my favorite ones. Uh, the design of it is just super simple. It's a dark green colour. I hope you can maybe get that on camera. It's got the shadow badge on the arm. It's got two zipped pockets here. It's got two zipped pockets at the bottom. So these zip pockets are just chest pockets that zip across. Um, internally, nice and simple again. The Razo R badge there. Um, I, I mean, I, again, disagree with me in the comments. I think this style of jacket, these shadow jackets, if they kept producing them as simple as this, lads and lasses would go absolutely crazy for them. They are like the integral part of shadow, the really simple designs. When they started messing around and making them look like, I don't know, something a four-year-old child would wear, then people just went off it all. And it's possibly why shadow is uh, going to cease trading because They've just gone a little bit stupid, but this is absolutely beautiful. So like I say, it's an XL. It's more suited for a large wearer, but you're not going to find many of these anymore. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jacket. Right, I really like this one because you don't see many of them. This is a Masola Gamata jacket. It is 2012 autumn winter. It's a medium at 22 and a half, which will fit a true medium because it's 22 and a half external, internal for padding it's gonna go back down to a medium size. Um, now, people will say, well, that's not a special jacket. I see them all the time. You probably don't see this style. Most of the Masola Gamata jackets are just plain frontage zip. This is from the 30th Annie. Now, I talked about this on numerous videos. The 30th Annie, the only true pieces are the Telestella, the 3030, the Reflective Knit. Um, I think that's them all. Then you've got some polo bits that you could probably get away with saying they are 30th anniversary. The rest of them were just brought out in 2012, which was the 30th anniversary of Stone Island. But this is absolutely beautiful. So at the front, you've got um, the duffel style. Um, and these are covered in leather. If you look, the detailing is crazy on these. So it's like a duffel frontage. Um, and these are rubber. You've got a neck stance there. Here's the arm badge, it's a standard arm badge piece. You've got two front pockets, and then inside it's quilted. I'm trying to find you, let's see if I can find it for you so you can see it. I think it's further in, here we go. So look, if a jacket came out in the 2012, you'd get that on the inside. And some people message me and say, I've got a 30th anniversary piece, what would you pay for it? It's not really a 30th anniversary. And it, Annevery, Annie piece. It is just something that was made in that year. But this is a beautiful, beautiful jacket. You won't see many of these. Um, and like I say, it is a medium and it fits true to size at a medium. Okay, here's a special one, large, 22 and a half pit to pit. It is 2014 summer season and it is the Marina Heat, Refer heat Reactive. Um, tell me another heat reactive that you've seen that has got all its original shop tags. So the back here is luminescent. So at night that will glow up. Um, it's got an internal hood um, and it's purple. And as you can see here, the picture of my son wearing it, it changes to a pink color. It is like the original Marina that you saw Osti wearing on the boat. Um, I'll try and find a picture now. I might not be able to. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. Now, this is in pristine condition. The only problem is there are a couple of little patches 
it's hard to feel, but just a little bit sticky. That is purely because it is, uh, it is a special process piece. It just doesn't have the badge because they tried to keep it just like the Marina, the original Marina. Um, so it's, there are some tiny, tiny, it's not like the reflex matte jacket that goes sticky everywhere. This is just a slight, I mean, I can't even feel it now, but I'm going to let this go at cost price. If somebody wants this off me, um, because I know loads of people are after these jackets, especially for the summer season, because it will heat up a treat. Um, just get in contact with me and I will let this one go. Um, so the pit to pit, just to say again, so it's a large at 22 and a half. So it's true to size. It's 2014. It is a summer season piece. Of course, you'd be hot wearing it, but on those days, um, you wouldn't wear it. But it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. And all the buttons, the detail on them, rubber button front. So you've got a button up and zip up. But head across, come and speak to me about this piece. It's a very special piece, but I will let it go. Okay, 2013 XL 23 and a half inch pit to pit. Comes up a little bit smaller because that's external. So let's say internal is 22 and a half, which would be for a large... Um, my son picked this one out. He picked it out because it looks like a bodybuilder's jacket when you put it on. I mean, he probably thinks you look a bit like Superman with all the padding in it. Now, this came out, what did I say, 2013. And I saw them and I never picked one up, although I always wanted to pick one up because they're just like beautiful items. It's a special process and you learn something new every day because I never received one and I never read the labels on it and I really should have. But it's called the multi-bag knit down jacket. Now in my head, I thought the multi-bag would mean that there'd be internal straps, it would fold into the pocket and you could put it on as a bag. How wrong could I be? So what they've effectively done is each pocket here, each panel is a separate bag that is filled with down feathers, which gives you this puffed up sort of version of a jacket. And I hope that the camera sort of shows that. Why do I like it? Air like knits, I think there's been a lot of work gone into this. Um, it's pristine, but a lot of work has gone into this. Also, the special process badge, white on this royal blue, is absolutely incredible. I promise, promise, promise you won't find many of these anymore. I don't know why I keep bending down. I'm sure I'm in shock, but I promise that you won't see many of these. Um, I don't know if I'll let this one go, but you could message me about this one. Um, but it, like I say, it's like new from 2013. To find a knit that is 10 years old in pristine condition with all its labels, that's like gold dust. But this is a very, very special piece. I really, really like it. And I always have liked it since when it came out. And like I say, I've learned something new about it. And why not end with possibly the star of the show? So this is, let me give you the correct years. It's a 2014 autumn winter. It's the hand-painted camo. Uh, Razo hand painted tortoise shell. Uh, it's an XL at 23 and a half. Now, I'm an XXL and I can wear this, although it'll be slightly tight. So I think if you're somewhere between a large and an XL wearer, you're going to be absolutely fine with this. My son picked this one out. He said it was the best by far. He loves the gold splatters on it. So I'll try and show you it. Each one has been hand painted. So you never find another that looks exactly like it. You can see there that there's like splatters of gold on it, brown, um, and it is a Razo material. So inside, you've got an inner lining. Um, it's a down-filled lining, but it's Dutch roped, and that's the difference. Sometimes there's linings inside it and they don't come out. This will come out, so it would do you for spring as well. So you've got your inner lining that comes out. Um, okay. Um, it's new with tags. I mean, find me another one that is new with tags. Um, shall I put it on? I think I could just about fit this on. So I'll try live for you. Just, just, but it'd be a little bit too tight on me. But I am now an XXL because I like my stouts and I like my food. But let's just do it up tight anyway. Okay, um, so the story behind these was that they, they came out and some people bought them, some people didn't. So then they went in the outlet um, down in London and I think they sold in the outlet for about £550, £600. Anyway, 
The craze on these now is absolutely ridiculous. Like, these are one of the most wanted jackets out there in the Stone Island world. Um, they look smart, they're not my style. A, they haven't got a hood. Um, and B, I don't really do browns. Um, but I can see why lads like them and they're iconic and I can only think that the value of them will just go up and up and up and up. Um, yeah, this is probably the star of the show. Will I let it go? Possibly. I'd probably prefer a swap. The reason why, and I say this to lots of guys, the reason why I prefer swaps is because I want to make content. And actually, if someone pays me money for this, it's very hard to buy anything else with the money. So I'm looking really for really nice swaps that would go well on videos. Um, but we can have a chat. You know where my Instagram is. You know where my email is. Um, but this is probably the style of the show. And I hope you agree, because I bigged this video up, that they are 16 banging jackets that have not been seen for a while. Um, very few times you get to hold all those jackets in one go. Um, so yeah, if you like any of those jackets, you know where I am. Um, and this video is gonna take a little bit of editing because there are 16, 17, 18 videos that I need to mash together. Um, so they might not have too much editing over the top of them, but I hope you've watched all this video because you've seen some absolute treats. And that brings me to the end of this video, uh, a long video. Hope you've really enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna take a few weeks break now from doing videos. I'm gonna still keep collecting stuff, so hopefully I come back with a bang. Um, the, what I'd like you to do is subscribe, as always. Comment, like, but watch my videos all the way through if possible. Some people message me literally five minutes after I've released a video saying, is that jacket for sale? Well, you've not watched my video, so please, please, if you're gonna chat with me about my videos, watch my whole video. Um, it, I really appreciate it because it takes some time to do these. Um, it's still the Easter holidays, which means I can have a little bit of a break now. I'll try and get this video edited today, which is the Monday, and get it up for the Tuesday. If you've got any questions, you know what to do. Um, send me a message as well about anything regarding Stone Island. Hopefully I can answer them or help you a little bit. And I do buy out jacket collections, as you've just seen. Um, so put some trust in me. If you send me the collection, I'll pay you when it comes. Um, you know I'm not going anywhere. Um, yeah. I'm a genuine guy who will just buy a nice pieces of Stone Island. So, without further ado, I'm going to go and edit this video. Hope you have a lovely holiday if you're on one. And if you're not on one, never mind. But it's nearly the weekend. Take care.